Okay, problem 8.1.22. The Z statistic, the Z test statistic is minus 2.52, and it's obtained when testing the claim that P is less than 0 0.051. So it's a left tail test. They want the critical values. So the critical values are the area to the left, the alpha level. Since it's a one-tailed test, we're putting 5% in the left tail. So we got to go to StatCrunch and open up the normal calculator. Calculator normal. And I want to put 5% in the left tail. Since it's left tail, it's less than. and I. I put 5% and I want to know the number. So it's minus 1.645, two decimal places. So minus 1.64. A lot of times in the table, they'll use three decimal places, but here they ask for two. So choose the conclusion. Well, if you compare the test statistic to the critical value, we're to the left of the critical values. So that means we're in the tail. That means the P is low. However you want to, however you want to describe it, we're in the left tail. That means we're going to reject. So it's going to be A or, or D. A is, is, is incorrect. This is not sufficient evidence. There is sufficient evidence because we're in the tail. That's the evidence. Okay. So once again, looking at the, um, so you can see that, it, let's let's go ahead and see what the p-value is, if you want to be instructive about it. So negative 2.52 compute, you can see the p-value is, is a lot less than 0.05. It's 0 0.006, rounded to three decimal places, which is far less than 0 0.05. So using p-value or using the, the test statistic and the critical number, you can see that uh, we're in the tail. That means we're going to reject. Okay, that's 8.122. Dr. K out as soon as I can stop this.